So much of the Bible is black and white, like clearly do this, don't do that. And then there's other times that Jesus is asked a question and he retorts with a question, <laughs> basically figure it out. And then there's other times like we're going to look right now in Luke chapter 13, where Jesus tells a story and there's no resolution. It just drops off at the end. Here's the story in Luke chapter 13. Jesus told the story. A man planted a fig tree in his garden and came again and again to see if there's any fruit on it. But, it was all, but he was always disappointed. Finally, he said to his gardener, I've waited three years and there hasn't been a single fig. Cut it down. It's just taking up space in the garden. Gardener said, sir, just give it one more chance. Leave it one more year. I'll give it special attention. Plenty of fertilizer. If we get figs next year, fine. If not, then you can cut it down. End of story. Whatever happened with that stinking tree? Well, Jesus clearly, at least clear to me, did not tell this story to resolve it like he so often does with the word. He tells this story to function as a mirror, as a mirror for us whose fig trees maybe are blossoming with harvest or maybe are not. Jesus invites you and me to courageously terrifyingly in some cases, take an honest look at our own fig tree, or maybe a better way to put it, at our own harvest. Now, there's a word I really don't like. And, well, there's several words I really don't like, but I'm going to focus in on one. The word I really don't like, and let me, before I tell you the word, I don't like it because it applies to me more often than I care to admit. Here's the word, taker. By nature, I take. And when I've taken, I want to take some more because I feel like I'm entitled to a whole lot of things. I like to help God out. God blesses me. God's my source, but I love to help him out. I, by nature, am a taker. So check out the word take in this story. In verse number seven, finally he says to his gardener, waited three years, hasn't been a single fig, cut it down. It's just taking up space. It's taking up space. It's taking up potential. It's taking up my quality of life because every time I come out here hoping for something, my hopes are disappointed. It's taking, as I mentioned, potential, nutrients, all kinds of things. It's just taking up space. I could do something else with that space. What are you, what am I doing with the space, the time, the breath, the resources, the potential, the influence, the everything that God has given us? This tree took and gave nothing. By God's grace, may we receive from him, not take from others, and yield a harvest that honors him and those around us. In case I wasn't clear, I am by nature a taker. I want to be a receiver and a giver. I need his help.